the exit. Yeah, I'm going. Wait, I recognize that sound. If he's behind me. Oh God, oh God. But look how slow it makes his pan. <laughs> So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome to A Shadow Over Freddy's. This is a new Five Nights at Freddy's horror game, and apparently this one is really good, as said by the man. What is that? Oh yeah, that's right guys, you know the one who made the Joy of Creation and the Joy of Creation 2 Reborn? He said this game is good and that it scared him? Exactly, I know, I know. Okay, but seriously, Nixon directly messaged me on Twitter about this game, and he was saying how good it was. I mean, that is like a big hint, this is going to be a good experience. So far on the menu, I'm a little bit confused, like everything is so monochrome. Chrome, and to be honest, I'm not sure my butt's gonna handle this. <laughs> you wake up in a small dark room, laying down on a cold checkered floor with your back against the wall, feeling like hell. <laughs> this dude's found himself in Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Your mouth tastes like copper and there is nothing to hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Jesus Christ. Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking itself up off the floor and using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of a flashlight. Dust and cobwebs lining every corner, crumpled up papers, cups and black stains covering the floor, drips of water seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread, much like a man being hung at the gallows. What the, the first coherent thoughts that enter your head urge you to leave as soon as possible. Leave immediately before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well? Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. Oh, this ain't home. And the adventure begins, guys. I don't even know what to expect right now. Kinda hyped in a weird way. Whoa, the whole place is monochromatic. What the heck? Was that the right word? Like, big word? Let's go. Move your cursor to aim the flashlight areas of interest, pointing towards the side of the screen or rotate the camera. All right. Left click on an open path to move into adjacent rooms. A hostile presence is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. And that's it. This place is weird. It's so desolate. So it's like a semi-free roam game. Find the exit by leaving the office, the nightmare begins. So look, here's the thing, man. Like, if a click team game does the sound design right, there's some- Hi. Yeah, this feels very ghostly. If click team, it just has like this clunky feel to it, but it can actually add, I feel, to the horror experience. So we can pan around full 360 right here. And the effect works quite well, you know, for a click team. I think this is about the pinnacle of the free roam aspect to it. All right, looks like we've headed into the arcade area. Employees, Nope, ain't going in there. This black and white monochrome appearance, like, it doesn't sit well with me. So through the arcade room. What is that? <gasps> what is going on in this place? The exit. Yeah, I'm going. If those breaths are coming from straight behind my head, I ain't sticking around to find out what the freak is. What? But the no. Dude, you've got a foot. Use it, okay? Hundred times if need be, just get down. Wait, what? Our vision's going more cloudy. Wait, I recognize that stuff. If he's behind me. Oh God, oh God. Hey, look how slow it makes his pan! Oh god. What? Oh god. No, did I mess up? Oh my god, I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm really scared. What is this? Oh my god, why is this doing this? Come on, come on. Keep it together. It's just... Do I pull the headphones off now? You guys are sitting in the silence with me? Wait, it's coming back in. Expected a jump scare. Very glad it didn't actually happen. You are pulled back to safety by a floating figless feature. Figless feature. Standing before you with its eyes locked on your pale face, it looks like it wants to help recover your lost memories. The shadow offers you a story to clear your head. Will you accept? Um, multiple choice. I mean, they said it pulled us to safety. So let's accept the story. What's this guy got to show? I mean, we didn't even get to see his face or anything. Okay. That's the puppet. Ooh, the guy behind it all, maybe. What's the story then? There once was a little kid who liked to play with his toys on his lonesome. And here's the kid. Oh, this is cool. This is like so much more building. He lived with his family on a small peaceful house outside of town surrounded by forestry. His home's backyard was his personal stage where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes, making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. There were a small mannequin, a stuffed teddy bear, a porcelain dress-up doll, and a toy robot. Well, I mean, what is it, a toy robot? That dog's got that in its freaking chomper. 
Rovers. One day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robot, prompting the kid to chase after him to reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up. Grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth, he began to pull. To be young and carefree, a kid and his dog playing tug of war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? There's about to be a kicker right here. Let's prepare ourselves. The guy's face is always shadowed too. The dog, excited to finally receive the attention it craved from the young master of the house, refused to lose the game they found themselves playing. The toy robot was almost free from the dog's mouth when... What did- wait, what? What did you do? Relieved to have gotten his friend back, the kid wiped off the pool of drool off of the toy robot with his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass with barely enough room left in its swollen neck to allow a pitiful dry howl. The kid arriving back from out the trees positioned the toy robot back where it was on its makeshift stage and continued playing. Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. What the heck? Come on right now! Now if we did that, I'm glad we're experiencing this nightmare right now, okay? Okay, now that sounds like Freddy, if ever I've heard it. Each night the enemies become more aggressive. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It hides in roof. What the frick? If you right click, you can hear sounds better. Guys, I am terrified, so right click. No, I freaking right click, didn't I? Hold up. Oh, that's just listening. So. I don't hear nothing. I don't like how the camera blacks out. Oh man, this game made me turn up my sound. This is how you know this is gonna be a bad time. All right. Freaking. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Let's just do this. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Night two, follow the music. I'm not sure I want to right now. Nixon, why you got me on this crap, you know? Right, here we go. So we right click and listen. What up? I'm listening. I think. Are we clear? All right, let's go into the darkness. Oh, wow. This is a weird free roam. Like, this is what I'm talking about when I say, if done right, it can be real good. Okay. Listen, listen. So, drops to silence. That's just concentrating. Left side seems clear. Follow the music. So, straight ahead. Let me just check uh, my right side too. Hear the music subtly there. Not enough, though, to warrant me going that way. Let's go straight ahead. Oh, man. The tension between the waiting is really severe. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Hold up. Listen. Listen. Music's real loud right there. Freak, what's that? Okay. That's straight ahead. That's where the music is definitely loudest. I'm worried that there's going to be something like a monster waiting in the most direct path, though. That's my concern right now. Let's play it freaking risky, dude. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. We're right by a wall. So we've got three possible ways to go. There's the stage, guys. Wow. This is weird. So if we go this way. That's exactly where need be. That's where the breathing's coming from! I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's leading us this way. Dude, what the freak? Have I just been done goof? Guys, I don't like this at all. This this is bad. This is real bad. That's how we came up. Hold up. The, mu the music is back there. I'm backing down from the stage. I think I got lured there. So that was a false one, maybe? Listen ahead. So, music is loudest that way. It's in the bathroom. It is in- hold on, let me check the exit just to be safe. Have a listen. He, no, it's definitely- it's in the bathroom! What the freak was that? What the freak was that? Oh my god, there was something literally to my right. Okay, whoa, whoa, there's something there again. Don't laugh like that! Okay, and it's gone. Uh, wh where do we go from here? Wait, did we get tricked again? We're backing out, guys. I think we got tricked again. Wait, hold up. Straight ahead. It said follow the music. I've been doing that. Hold up. This way? Nothing there. The music's gone somewhere else in this establishment. I'm freaking out a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go straight ahead. I don't know what else to do. We gotta find the music, but it keeps shifting. Okay, there's music again. We're going back on ourselves. Let me just listen ahead. Okay. It's about the same either way. I'm making sure there's no danger. Let's go straight ahead. I hope we're good. I don't know. Now it's taking us over to the other side of uh, where we would have left the office. So I think it's taking us now to the parts and services, personally. Yeah, parts and services for sure. Let's follow the music. There's only one more presence in here with us. I don't know if he makes any, like, particularly unique sound. Hold up. That's real loud. I don't think there's a presence alongside it. Wait, what? What do I do? Hold up. I have a- What? Did it don't goof me again? The break room. Maybe it's in here. Let me just give a listen. Kinda loud? Let me just check the other way. Is that loud or not? I think it might be backstage. I didn't see this, so if we listen. Okay, it's definitely not the break room. Let's go backstage and listen. Yeah, it's louder there. Ooh, wait, what? 
Did we do it? Hold up, there's something about this room. If I look behind me, is the puppet there again? Okay, quick pan. I don't even know if he was there last time. His music's playing. I don't know. I don't freaking know, guys. I've looked all around. I don't know what is happening. So we walked all around the establishment there. That was like, I think, to introduce us to everywhere around. You are pulled back again to safety as the sound of the unturned music box winds down. The shadow offers another story as a reward for completing your task. And we're going to accept again. The story I will tell you is a true story I pray you never forget. There was once a boy who laid awake at night during a harsh downpour. Beneath the covers of his bed, he closed his eyes and tried to ignore the storm just outside of his room. Enveloped in darkness, a sensation of creeping discomfort kept him from falling asleep. The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the restlessness that the shadows cast from the window gave him. He felt eyes watching him from afar. The boy opened his eyes and looked toward the window, but nothing was there. He tried to go back to sleep. Okay, that's just... Okay, hold up. The boy's face is shrouded again. He opened his eyes again, and out of the corner of his eye, he spotted it. The hollow, white eyes of a living shadow. It appeared just as quickly as it went away. His uneasiness pushed to the side by growing curiosity. The boy got up from his bed and approached the window. From out of the glass, he could see it. The silhouette of an animal, darker than the night around it and void of color, even when light struck its frame, running off into the trees with a familiar object stuck in its mouth. The freak is that? It's the dog. His favorite toy stolen again. Again, being carried towards the forest, the boy couldn't help but follow along the shadow's path. The night air was freezing. Brazen winds carrying countless droplets that hit the skin like marbles. Their impact deafening any other sound other than the imposing thunder. Call it premonition, but he knew where the shadow had gone to. That place at the edge of the forest where he last left the family dog. He was sure he would find it. Standing in front of the grave once more, the eyes from the shadow had gone away. But in its steed, the twice stolen robot toy now lay on top of the muddy mound. But this time, it was moving, its tiny plastic arms flailing violently from side to side, its head rotating in place. The movements were sudden but clear, unprompted by any outside influence. A spark of life was trapped inside this tiny toy. Fascinated by such discovery, he picked up the toy from the ground and held it tightly with both of his hands to prevent it from escaping his grasp. Smiling from ear to ear, the boy headed back home. Uh, wasn't freaked out by that whatsoever. Don't stand still, enemies will move into your room if you take too long hiding next to you. Bro, I kinda wanna see what I'm dealing with just so I know. If a shadow is in the same room as you, it will wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. Night three, enter the kitchen. The one area with the cancelled off camera, man. We never saw what was in there. I mean, they were probably cooking up some kids, am I right? So we've got the key. Um, do we listen? I don't hear nothing. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Holy crap. What the fr- <laughs> Bonnie moves around the perimeter of the main restaurant room. Move to the center of the area. Oh, that is so cool. The animatronics are actually roaming at the same time. Wow, so there is ways to avoid them in this game. All right, guys, well, there we have it. That was a shadow over Freddy's. A very interesting game, to say the least, and something we've not exactly seen with the FNAF genre, and uh, especially like a point and click thing. It's totally different. I gotta say, this is actually quite enjoyable, how they're actually amassing this totally different story, and the animatronics and all of the events that are happening, they feel almost real time because like the ambience of this place is so still the deafening air i mean if you guys do enjoy this though as said before leave a like right and i'll see how this series does because maybe we can tackle this game it's something different something refreshing and uh, i'm kind of interested to see the story we got going here if you guys did enjoy this video though why not drop me that like right and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe also for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one